Hey, what's up, everyone? This is THQ Tank, your official UFC Undisputed 3 community manager, bringing you our first edition of Inside the Octagon, starring Donald Cerrone and Benson Henderson. And I'm going to get off the mic here and hand it to our lead designer, Wes Bunn, and assistant producer, Nick Robertson. They're going to take you through the match and show you what's new and awesome about our ground game. All right, thank you so much, Tank. All right, before we get into the fight, let's talk about what we got here. What we're seeing on screen now is something the fans have been asking for, and we're happy to say that they're finally in. Fighter entrances have made their way into the game. Yeah, people uh, people so far that have seen it have been pretty pretty stoked on it. Um, got a lot of those signature entrances in there. Rampage coming out and doing his howl. Uh, Jones doing the cartwheel when he enters the cage. Henderson praying before he goes in here. So you definitely get those personalities, those fighter personalities right from the get-go. Yeah, and they're also very informative. You're going to hear Joe Rogan and Mike Goldberg also give you some uh, history about the fighter, what they're good at, their strengths and weaknesses. So if you're not familiar with all 150 fighters in the game, uh, Joe Rogan will give you a little bit of insight to what your guys get at, and that's very, very helpful. Yeah, it can definitely help you, you know, game plan what you're going to do with this fighter. If you've got a guy like Cerrone who's got, you know, good Muay Thai and good submissions, then you're going to want to, uh, you know, tailor your game plan around that, avoid his submissions and avoid the clinch. Yeah, so these two guys are, I mean, they fought in the past. They're w former WC fighters. They fought in the past, had some tremendous battles on the ground. I think that's why we wanted to showcase them here because they just have excellent ground game in, in the game as well. Yeah, both of those fights were just back and forth crazy action on the ground. So we figured these guys would be a, a good choice to show off our, our new ground stuff. So we, we've jumped into the game here now, and you're going to see uh, I'm controlling uh, Cerrone and, and Nick's controlling uh, Benson. Uh, I take them to the ground there from the standing back clinch. And the ground transitions are pretty much the same as last year. You're using all all your transitions are done on the right stick. We do have a new control scheme this year. The alternate control scheme allows you to flick up or down on the right stick to perform your transitions. But we still have the classic controls, the pro controls, that allow you to uh, stall your transitions by starting the input and then con completing the uh, the transition maneuver. So right here, I'm kind of holding off, waiting to see what he's going to do. Wes is pretty tricky on the ground. Um, Notice he didn't transition, so I tried to grab his head. He struck out of the clinch there. Yeah, that's a, a new feature we wanted to add this year. So you have the ability to, to perform a transition to enter a head clinch position, or you can just transition block uh, to prevent me from posturing up. It's a little bit easier to perform. And then here I'm using some ground sway, so avoid the ground and pound. You can actually move your head, stay out of the way of those punches. We'll get back to your feet. Gives you a few different options for how to uh, defend yourself on the ground. And we're seeing here now, this is a new position that we've added into the game. Uh, we have the seated cage position, so we have open guard variant of that, half guard variant of it, and it allows you to perform uh, submissions off the cage, wall walk uh, on the def defensive end uh, as you try to push me into the cage here. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Now you can push their head up into the cage and you can actually get more damage. You have options with the ca using the cage. What you're seeing here now on screen is the actual submission system. It's a brand new submission system that we've added this year. Uh, Basically, the attacker is on the outside of the HUD. You're trying to overlap the defender who's moving around the octagon. The longer that you stay on top of uh, the defender, you'll see the camera start to push in, and that ind indicates that you're closer to finishing the submission. When the camera pulls out, you're closer to escaping the submission. So getting a lot more feedback this year in terms of what's going on with the submission and, and how close you are to finishing or escaping. And there's also that bar right there in the middle that shows which player is winning. Um, or show the red or blue filling up so you know when the submission is going to finish exactly. Right, the shine is gone, people. The shine is gone. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Oh, he's got him dazed. Ooh, just got rocked there, he's son. <laughs> yeah, I, I was waiting for a transition, and I just left my chin open there. It was not good. And saved by the bell. It's going to pick it up here in round two, actually. So let's see here. I think I'm going to go in for a little clinch there and try and go for the takedown. So I got the takedown. You'll notice there that it went to a little bit of a struggle state. We removed all instant takedowns this year. The only time you can get an instant takedown is on a major counter. So when the opponent is throwing a strike, a strong strike or a technique strike, that's when you can get that instant takedown. There's no other instances of that. And there you saw my head was up against the cage. I was trying to sway out of the way, but since the cage was there, I was unable to. and had to just get right back up to my feet, clinch up here. Yeah, some bows. it definitely makes the cage more uh, impactful this year. You can, If you want to scoot the guy up against the cage, it does more damage and it, it uh, you know, restricts their movement. Here's one of the, the uh, new submissions we've added in, the Bendo Signature 
standing guillotine. You know, he's thrown this up in a lot of fights, so something we definitely had to include in there. Oh, he threw an elbow from the bottom, too, as well. Got a lot of technique strikes from the bottom that can actually cut your fighter. Uh, this year, so you had, like, Kenny Florian could throw those elbows from the bottom and cut you, and that does have an impact on gameplay. Actually slows the... Uh, uh, the energy and stamina consumption rate, or recovery rate, excuse me. I'm blocking my uh, transition there. I'm stalling on you a little bit. Yeah, and of course I'm eating some elbows because of it. So, again, with the submission system, you're definitely going to be able to see why you're winning and losing. When you're caught, just call that stage caught when you're overlapping, there is a little bit of a sticky effect so that you can't just immediately escape right out of it. So you'll definitely feel it once you get your hands on it. Here, now he's throwing in the go go plaza. This is definitely a move I do not want to get caught in. It's one of my favorites, and uh, to get submitted with it would be quite demoralizing. Yeah, it's pretty easy to, de to determine who, what, uh, who's winning and losing and who's controlling which fighter. The P1 and P2 indicate uh, the player one, player two. Also, you, if you forget, you can look at the tape uh, around your gloves, red corner, blue corner. That's what those colors represent. Here, I'm teeing off, getting a little cocky. I got the mount position. Still uh, postured up, throwing some some heavy strikes here. So what I was I would, price. what I was doing there was actually trying to s block his uh, his strikes, timing or sw swaying or blocking his strikes. If I effectively sway uh, one of his strikes and then immediately try to transition, my transition window rate is increased a little bit. So you might want to try to do that. So I get the finish there on you. Yeah, definitely uh, definitely paid the price. Thought I had you, and uh, as you can see, I did not. <laughs> So yeah, th that's the the ground game has undergone some major changes this year. It's something that you guys are going to have to pick up and play. But uh, the key basics for the ground game, the ground sways, allowing you to survive the rock state, which is something that you couldn't do last year. Last year you just had to cover up and hope you could weather the storm. Now you have options. You can sway to avoid strikes. You can counter grapple to catch the punch and pull the guy down into a clinch position. Um, and again, when your uh, when your opponent's postured up, if you're swaying or successfully blocking, if you try to transition immediately afterwards, uh, you'll be able to increase uh, the success rate of your transition. And the last thing you'll see here, we've got the uh, you know the fight metric style report showing exactly what damage was done to each body part, so you know at the end of the fight why you got uh, why you got knocked out or submitted or uh, just dominated. And yeah, that's going to go across all modes this year. So you'll be able to see after every fight uh, this breakdown. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, Nick, for uh, helping me out. And uh, we'll be back uh, inside the Octagon giving you some more stuff.